Hello guys, my name is Fox and welcome to part 5 for Xer Kings 2 Game of Thrones mod where we're playing as the Rayego Drogarian. Let's continue. So, in the previous episode, we didn't manage to do much. We didn't manage to declare any wars because all of our neighbors are a little bit too powerful for us to handle right now. Oh, so this guy. Or like, there was a kingdom of green color in here and then got consumed by a guy from here. So now we have... <laughs> We have a neighbor who is even bigger than we had before, so that's quite, kind of annoying. But at least we're still allowed to burn people down. Also, uh, I've remembered that we're actually allowed to build trade posts as well, even though we're nomads. Uh, we're allowed to build the trade posts in the trade routes. So that's what we're gonna do. Let's hope it's gonna give us some extra money and let's go and get our army to the stone road and burn this place down as well. This guy has actually a little bit more army than the previous one. Um, could I build any extra stacks for myself? Am I allowed to do that? Not yet, because my, uh, uh, because my manpower is not high enough. Let's go and spend some extra money on our, uh, capital. Global supply limit, global movement speed, hoard maintenance cost. Yeah, sure. Meat preserver. Sounds like a great idea. My wife doesn't seem very content at the moment. She wants more clothes, better shoes and fine dresses. Lose 25 ducats to get some extra fertility and chance of getting lustful. I actually do need her to get more lustful, so yes. And she became lustful, nice. Please start popping babies like crazy, like every every damn nine months. Okay, Hara is not what, who I expected, who I expected to become pregnant, but it's still fine as well. Because we had three children and three of them are daughters. And daughters are not welcome in the daughterky world, so please give me give me sons. God damn it. I want a son of my dynasty uh, to succeed uh, in the inheritance because yeah, it's kind of tricky to to succeed in the inheritance as a daughterky, so I'd better have a son as quickly as possible. My trusted this guy managed to improve some clan sentiment. Talking about clan sentiment, how is it looking? These two clans are not really fond of me. Why? Feud need more grazing lands. More grazing lands, not a counselor. Infidel absorbed the clan of my blood. Oh yeah, screw him. That's fine. You s you're gonna stop hating me with time, hopefully. Uh, okay, actually, if this guy have that many men, I would go and instead uh, raid Lazarin again. Because this shipman couldn't really do much. Deaths are becoming colder, yields uh, from crops smaller. We should prepare as winter is coming. Um, mm, oh, there's a citadel as well. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, winter is coming, but uh, I doubt it's gonna reach Dotterkey that quick. And I also kind of doubt that White Walker is gonna be able to reach Dotterkey, so good luck with that. I'm not gonna care about you. By the way, is there like any... Oh, there's mild winter, winter in here already. I don't know, maybe, maybe there is a chance that uh, the winter event uh, got re reworked because this is a new is a new version of the game, so I'm not entirely sure what kind of changes were uh, made, but there certainly should be some. Uh, also, this guy just expanded a little bit more. Gosh darn it. Are you at least at war with anyone? Where is your capital? I've got no idea. Oh, it's in here. So, you're currently at war with Eben. Eben is kind of powerful. I'm um, not anymore. 3000 troops. Oh, actually, if you only have 3000 troops, I could declare an invasion of Eben. No, I couldn't. Because I'm not the greatest of counts. Okay. I still could do a raid on you. Uh, we'll see. I might consider doing that. I might. Uh, I'm not gonna be able to reach your capital or anything, but I'm, I'm gonna be able to siege down one of your provinces. Actually, it's not gonna be enough war score for me, so it's just gonna be a waste of time, probably. One of my, one of my slaves distinguishes themselves. Uh, by the way, could I, like, impregnate slaves... <laughs> impregnate slaves just by my will? Sail slave, lush slave, grant freedom, seduce... Uh, no, I don't need you. She's gonna die, but... Could I do any nasty things with slaves? Is there a way for me to, like, find slaves in my court? Mm, probably not as easily as I would like to, so I'm not gonna be bothered. 
Uh, I would like to have like a chance to just force... Uh, the word for it probably gonna be rape, but I would have a chance... I would like to have a chance to fornicate with my slaves. Let's, let's not... Let's not call it rape. Even though it kind of is. Um, to her daughter after all, so... Who did not expect some good darn rape from daughter right? And killing as well. Um, mid preserver has been built in our capital. Okay, let's get something else. By the way, how's our trade posts? We got a trade post in our capital. Could we upgrade it? We can if only we had... No other trade route prompts within a distance of 100 tra contains trade route post, trade route blah Oh, I couldn't upgrade you because we have a trade post in the nearby province. It's kind of strange. But oh well. Uh, your wife, Quithy, is pregnant with your child. As Carl, you are expected to take her to wife's daughter where she will perform... E God damn it. If it's gonna be another freaking daughter, I would lash you, women. But yeah, we're gonna get to wise daughter yet again, I guess. Uh, and this freaking Hara gave me another one daughter. Okay. <laughs> Game, please stop. I'm pretty sure the chances of getting son or a daughter is like 50-50. And there is have four in a row. And the chances for that is like, I don't know, 10%? 13%? You arrive at wise daughter, blah blah blah. Pies and prestige, thanks for that. Um... Great Hall, an enemy host approaches intent on in on insulting the castle. Excuse me? First of all, we don't have a castle. Second of all, what the fuck are you doing there? Oh my goodness, don't you say we're gonna get... Oh, we're actually being... <laughs> we're actually being uh, raided by our own vassal. Um, How about we're gonna try to go and cut him off? Yeah, this castle is definitely impregnable, but he's gonna siege it really quickly. We'll take my family and until it's safe, you blah blah blah. In hiding, hiding, hiding. 10% chance of me getting craven. Or zealous, brave, proud. Yeah, this castle is impregnable. I was gonna try to reach this place before uh, this guy's gonna siege it down, but it's probably not gonna succeed. And yeah, of course I'm leading troops in my capital, even though it doesn't make any sense. If I'm gonna get caught by this guy, I would be really damn upset. Uh, I didn't get caught by this guy, but he burned down my capital and he destroyed my trade route as well. Or not trade route, but trade post. Uh, am I allowed to kill my vassal who is raiding me? If he fail... He acted dishonorably towards me, so... I don't know what kind of dishonor it was. But I'm still allowed to imprison him. Hmm. Should I try to do this? I don't know. Let's go and kill his army at least first. Fucker. I spent 50 ducks on the trade route. Or trade post, and you just kill, uh, destroyed it immediately. That's really rude. Um... Oh, but now I actually could improve this one. Would I be able to improve it and then build another one trade post in my capital? Probably yes, but I'm not gonna be doing that. I'll just restore this one in hopes of no one destroying it yet again. Also, is there any buildings? Oh, there is, there is camp fortifications. Let's go and build some. Just to prevent situations like this in the future. And with this guy... If I were to imprison you, what good it gonna it gonna give me? I'm not entirely sure. Let's just not touch you. That's fine. Uh, let's get back to burning down Lazarin. Another one, freaking daughter. We just wasted our time moving all across the freaking daughter uh, plains or daughter key sea. To get another one daughter. Five daughters in a row, my goodness. Wife. You should be like extremely lustful, so go and become uh, pregnant again, please. Uh, no, I'm gonna sell you as well. Mm, don't you say this guy gonna like come back and burn down my capital yet again? 
because I would be extremely upset. What I actually could do to prevent that, let's go and split our arm in half. Uh, leave one in the capital and one to the Lazarine. Because even 3700 is going to be enough to burn down Lazarine, no problem. Um, how's this guy doing in his war? Mm, no real war score for both sides. Eben, why the heck you even got involved your, uh, yourself into this war? With only 3,000 troops. Kind of stupid of you. Do you have any... Uh, actually, mercenaries would have shown in here as well, so... Uh, okay, you improved relations with someone. Good job, I guess. My name and deeds are becoming highly spoken yet again. So, Khal Reg the Turkey gets prestigious leader. So, it's... It is modifier on me. Okay, how the heck I haven't noticed it... it haven't noticed it before. And I've checked. I don't know. Maybe I'm kind of just blind. Uh, and yes, this guy is rebuilding his army. Let's go and kill it again. Oh, mo okay. Oh! All of a sudden we have 200% plot power against this guy. And now it's actually firing. Okay, let's hope it's gonna help us, like, destroy this huge blob. His heir is some random person. So we'll see what's gonna happen. I've had my eyes on a feisty young scholarly mate with huge... Intellect from some time now. Uh, make her legend keep her as my mistress. Bet her and make uh, her mine. Yeah, let's go and bet her. Actually, courts. No, let's go and get a courtier. She's supposed to be our lover. Yes, Dolly. She's actually quick and attractive. Could I seduce her? No, she's already my lover. So let's hope you're gonna be able to make babies with you. And we succeeded. Okay, this nasty. Oh. Look at this! That's just exactly what I needed. Okay, guys. Stop. Stop right there, you criminal scum. Stop raiding this, um... Lazarin. Time for a real war. Let's go and take all of the small clans. Let's go and conquer all of the small clans before anyone else gonna do that. Yeah, that's... That's that's how you deal with freaking Dothraki. Just kill their leader. And they couldn't do anything. And yeah, now all of these guys just defend against each other. And yeah, my vassals are trying to, like, immediately declare war on them. What have you declared for? Uh, just a war against this guy. Let's just go and declare our own, like, as soon as possible. Invasion. Let's go and try to reach his capital before my vassal gonna be able to. We're actually, we're actually hostile to our vassal. So, are we gonna be able to kill his army in this war? It would be quite strange, but we probably will be. Hmm. Yes, <coughs> oh, excuse me. It's kind of weird that your vassals could raid you. Because that messes with uh, wars quite a lot. Because what, what would happen if I were to, like, call him into my war right now? Considering that his army is still kind of hostile towards me. Okay. Oh yeah, I'm now participating in the battle. These guys have defensive bonus. My wife is already pregnant. I'm gonna be... <laughs> Are you gonna be forcing me to waste 60 ducats all the time? Or 40 ducats, I should say. Okay, let's go and spend some extra. I really hope that my son gonna become a freaking uh, stellar who mounts the world. By the way, we also, our, uh, we also just lost our war horse. But, we killed the army of our vassal. So, we are now supposed to be the leader of the siege. Yeah, I would li uh, like to become zealous if possible. We're gonna be the leader of the siege, so let's hope we're gonna be able to take this uh, lens over for ourselves. Your have advice, Dotrak. All good and great. Mm. And 99% war score, thanks. Give me your lens. Uh, I hope you're not gonna become another one clan, because it's probably gonna be problematic. Now you became another one clan, but we're now allowed to have up to 5 clans. Okay. Uh, and he's actually in my prison. Could I ransom you? I can, but you don't have money. What if I were to release you? Would you be grateful? You would. Okay, let's just go and release you. Or... Excuse me? Gra um, okay. Apparently release the prisoner affected my vassals, but not the prisoner himself. But we still have relatively decent relations with him. And I actually took one of the provinces for myself. 
Okay, that's fine. As long as my vassal's not gonna be cranky about that, I'm fine. Okay. Next target, right away, Haro. You have 4,000 troops. Uh, you're gonna be our next target. Uh huh. I was gonna conquer you, right? Uh, or at least declare war on you right away. Oh. Oh yeah, you have a, an ally on your side, but it's just your vassal. So let's declare an invasion. And go here. Is there anyone on your capital? Looks like no. So we should be able to siege it down pretty quickly. And hopefully get instant... Insta win. By the way, my wife, is this... If this third child not gonna be a son... I'm not gonna dismiss you, I'm not gonna uh, break up with you, but... I'm gonna be extremely disappointed. I just have five daughters, I don't need a sixth one. Sixth one. Um, okay, now all of a sudden this guy dislikes me because he, have, he has not enough grazing lands. It's not my freaking problem. You have enough lands. Uh, also, I could create High Lordship of East Ifekevron. Sure, it's gonna give me enough, or uh, it's gonna give me some extra prestige, so why not? Uh, some of these guys probably would like to have this Ifekevron thing. Yeah, this guy desires a cuss. And this guy desires a cuss. Great. Both of them freaking desire it. But I also do have lands in them, so... Why the... Uh, actually, no, I don't really. It's an East Ifekevron. How huge is this duchy? It's only two freaking holdings. Okay. Uh, I'm just gonna give it to you. East Ifekevron. Let's hope you're gonna be happy. That should be fine. I still uh, I still have to keep my... Or I still keep my prestige, so... That's good enough. This freaking guy is still hostile towards me. My goodness. Please don't destroy my another one trade post, or I would be extremely unhappy. And I'm probably gonna imprison you if you're gonna do this the second time. And there goes our 99% yet again. Nice. That's a... Pretty great chain of expansion. And now we're over our clan limit. We need to dispose one of the clans. Which one though? I think it might be this guy. Oh, why do you like me all of a sudden now? Oh! You was the one who I gave lordship to? Yes, you are. Hmm. Okay. Who is this Haro guy? The one who we just conquered. And you're in my prison, so I should be able to absorb your clan, no problem, right? His opinion, minus 75. Ko Arako's clan sentiment by minus 35. Who is Ko Arako? Arako. This guy. Who are you? Just the one nearby. Oh, why the heck I got two clans right away? I know, but yeah, I'm just gonna... Just gonna absorb you, because I don't really have much choice. And... Now clans wants more land. Because I have a little bit too much for myself. Um, who's gonna receive some? You have two, four, three. I was gonna give it to you. Uh, you, 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 you. You're gonna receive uh, this one. Queer. The one you've been keeping before. And let's hope everyone now gonna be happy or at least not cranky. And finally, we have a son. And he has freaking white hair. Just as I wanted. Oh. Okay. Is it two sons? No, it's one son. Perfect. Rayego, son of Rayego. Yeah. I'm I'm not against him having a name uh, he, being named Rayego. Because that's what our campaign called, so great. Rayego, you're the best. My wife, you also you're not the best, but at least you gave me a son after the freaking uh, third attempt, so uh, at least thanks for that. Uh, mm -hmm. What our next ambition gonna be? Exalted Among Man has at least 6,000 prestige. That's gonna be a little bit tricky, but we're actually already at 3,000, so... Now, let's just try to become a better fighter. Because we don't really have much fighting skill. So, cleanse. We, do, we are kind of friends with one of the most powerful guys. But we are not friends with this one. Why do you have so much power? Oh yeah, you're the one who we started with. Mm, I guess it's all, it's all gonna be fine. 
As long as I'm gonna be keeping my army strong, none of them should be hopefully rebelling against me. Also, I'm now allowed to create a kingdom in here. Oh, that's gonna be... Yeah, that would have been a way for me to get quite a lot of prestige. Maybe I should, maybe I should wait on making or creating these kingdoms before I'm gonna be able to change this ambition. And for now, it's actually... Oh, I could call out my court out of hiding. Yeah, let's go and do that. And yeah, it's already time for me to have a break, guys, so I'm gonna do this, and we're gonna continue in the next episode. We should be able to conquer some extra small of the, uh, some extra small these clans, of these clans, and yeah, we'll see. We already have a kind of big. Unfortunately, it doesn't really tell me how far away I am from 50, 50, tile, 50 tiles, or whatever, 50 lords, but yeah, we'll see. So... If you enjoyed watching this, you could leave a like, if you want to see more, subscribe, and if you want to leave a comment, you should definitely do it, and I would answer as soon as I could. See you later, guys. Bye-bye.